This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtas, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at the J10A mod by Snowy Wolf. We'll start in the download screen here. Of course, I will give you the download link in the video description. I try and keep it up to date. It's not always that easy. But anyway, we're going to click to download and download there we're going to download it if it asks us to double check security just override it and download it once it's downloaded we're going to go to our downloads folder sorry for the mess i've been doing a lot of mods lately you're going to get j10a-copy.zip i don't know why it says copy.zip but that's what it is we're going to go in there and we're going to find this here j10a-copy we're going to right click and we're going to copy it then we're going to go to our saved games folder for me that is c drive users my particular user saved games uh, dcs or dcs open beta mods if you don't have the mods folder in there make it and call it the same as that in mods there's aircraft again if you don't have aircraft make it and call it that in there right click paste and you can see i've already done it next we're going to load up dcs i've got the latest version of open beta 2.7.2 28th of june 2021 if it's installed correctly, we will see down here J10A. It says 2.5.6. I don't know why it says that, but it all works more or less in 2.7. So we're going to go into options. We're going to go into controls. We're going to select from the drop down list here the J10A. The controls appear to be identical to the MiG 29, possibly the SU 27 flanker. Flaming Cliff 3 modules available in DCS World, which I think. You need to have Flaming Cliffs 3 for this plane to work. Please let me know if you know differently. So, set it up exactly the same as a MiG-29 or an Su-27. We can't get air-to-air -air refueling at working at the moment. When it does, there may also be an extra command for that. We'll just have to see what happens when that is working. Got nothing else to add to that. Okay, let's go and set a quick mission up as we always do, just to show you how to set a mission up. Mission Editor. Create new mission. On the Persian Gulf. On the Persian Gulf, let's go down to our favorite base, Kassab. Click on it. Make it blue. Create new aircraft group. Put it on the ramp. Type, uh, in fact, country China. Type. Scroll down. We should have J10A there. Skill. I want to drive it, so I'm going to make it client. Starting condition is going to be taking off from the ground hot and I'm going to point it in that direction. Next, let's look at the payload in here. Some of these liveries aren't working, don't know why, so I'm going to choose one that does work. Blue light. I've got a secret liking for this aircraft here. It reminds me of a kind of mini Eurofighter, and the Eurofighter I like, obviously. So I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of this one. So for the loadout, we can carry on pylons 1 and 7 relatively old FOX-2 low-range missiles, a bit like a Sidewinder, EL-8A or Bravo. These are non-HOB variants, I believe. Something similar to the AIM-9 Mike Sidewinder. Let's put two of those on. Next, pylons 2 and 6. We can have air-to-air -air missiles. The PL-12 medium-range FOX-3 air to air missile or the sd10 or the sd10 times two the sd10 is for all intents and purposes the same missile as the pl12 x one of them is the export version probably the uh, sd10 and so we can have a rack of two of them which is pretty cool like that already looks like a bit of a beast right or we could have bombs they've got the b tabs here these are vertical drop concrete piercing bombs that you may have seen used on runways from su-25s or whatnot we've got a russian 250 kilo standardized low drag unguided bomb or a 500 kilo variant or the kmgu dispenser series we've got either anti-inventory or anti-armor we've got a rack with four times fab 100 kilo bombs or the nato standardized mark 82 mark 83 mark 84 up to 2000 pound unguided slick bombs or the rbk 250 which is a russian uh, cbu variant cluster bomb munition rockets standard chinese rockets as far as i can see we've got pod of 5s13 122 mils we've got 80 mils there in different warhead types we've got the mighty s24 bravo single uh, massive rocket the s25 even bigger a concrete penetrator rocket or um, the ub32 which is 57 small caliber rockets in 32 number per pod 
We'll just start off with an anti-air variant, shall we? Next pylons, three and five, pretty much the same. Same missiles, but we can't have the twin rack. Bombs, same bombs. Fuel tanks we can add, or same rockets. Let's go anti-air first of all to shoot some serious baddies. And finally, we can have a fuel tank. So pretty small, simple loadout. Exactly the kind of thing I like. Relatively simple, relatively cheap, relatively lightweight fighter. Oh, there's an internal gun. I've not seen that. I wonder if that's a GSH-23 twin. Apparently, you can carry 2,500 chaff. Not entirely sure that's accurate, but <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's that. Let's go and try uh, flying it. Stand by. In the cockpit now. Simba is over there. I mean, it's a strikingly pretty aircraft, you've got to admit. Cockpit is just a bastardized SU-27 cockpit, I think that is. Just taken from the SU-27 module. The flight model, if you start taxiing into the runway, please, uh, Simba. Flight model is what we call an SFM. I mean, 99% of these mods are what we call an SFM. It is the type of flight model used by the AI. Very, very simple, not very realistic. You can see why he's wiggling around as we test whether you can roll it over by turning hard. If you can't roll it over, it's an SFM. Very simple kind of data uh, table populated flight model, but it is what it is. Uh, it's just the easiest way to make a, uh, a, a quick mod in DCS. If you hold on the runway, please, Simba. Breaks off. Sounds nice. Oh, it is a pretty aircraft. It's a very pretty aircraft. Right, and we're going to go shoot down some baddies. So, I'm going to go in BVR mode, and this is exactly the same as driving a flanker or a MiG-29. I'm going to turn my radar on with the I key. I'm going to lock a baddie up. I'm going for that one on the right there. Launch authorized. Make sure I've got my SC-10 selected, and I have. Make sure my range is within our max, and it is there. And I'm going to pull the trigger and fire the weapon. Zap! And that is going to be one shot down aircraft, probably. like is evaded so we're going to go to a site oh <laughs> we can use oh, i was going to try and lock on to him and fire on the side one let's see if we can get a side wonder i'm going to go to uh, our acm mode same as we would in a flanker oh some flares i'll just show locking you with my acm mode there you are i'm going to put in between the lines in acm mode press target lock we've got a lock we can now press change weapon, we've got a sidewinder, and we can fire a sidewinder. I say sidewinder, I mean the uh, PL missile that we've got there, that's like a sidewinder. Okay, lead, uh, we're going to head back and arm up with an air-to-ground loadout now. We are now loaded up with some of my favourite weapons in DCS. We've got the mighty S25 anti-everything rocket, you can see in that canister, and 2 times Mark 84 2000 pound general purpose bombs. We've got targets at the end of the runway, Simba. Let's take off and go and do some fun. Breaks off. They do look good. Rotating. Must be one of the best looking jets in the world, I think. I know I shouldn't say that, but... Okay, up we go. So maneuverable. Okay, I'm going to press 7 to get the air-to-ground mode up. I'm going to select my rockets, which have already been selected. I could change those with change weapon button if I want it. I'm going to run in on the baddie waddies now. Prepare to get... I don't know how much explosives in them, but it's a lot. It's a lot. A reading from the value stream members saying that this is a copy Launch of the authorized. Israeli... Um, uh, larvae aircraft so I'd like to know your thoughts on that these guys are about to die horribly oh ouch ouch that was not good for their health 
How do you like those uh, S25s, Simba? Oh, you know, one shot wonder. They really are. It moves like an absolute demon. I mean, don't get too excited, Valley viewers. It is just an SFM mod, you know. It's not particularly realistic, but <laughs> it is good to fly. Minimum speed. For a bit of fun. For a bit of fun. It's not Minimum intended speed. to be particularly realistic. In moderation, fun is okay. Heading in now, I've got the bomb selected. My CCIP Pippa will appear at some point. I think I've gone down too steep, in fact. Launch. No, there's my Make sure to pull up when you release. Done. Yeah, they're big bombs, aren't they? Watch this Mark 84 hit, Valley Just. 2,000 pounds of boom boom. Everything is atomized. Let's do it again, just because we can. Heavens, we do like blowing stuff up here. I'm doing all the stunts. I've got it in a flat spin, I haven't. All we need is vector thrust now, Valley Viewers. Speed. Uh oh. I've caused myself a minor problem Minimum here. Speed. Nose down. Are you saying you won't be landing? I get the feeling I might. Yes, I recovered. <laughs> Paladin laugh, Paladin laugh. Got a few minor problems. Okay, I'm running back in now. Okay, where those baddie waddies? I've got one more um, Mark 82 for their faces. Oh no, I've dropped all Mark 82s. How embarrassing. Right, I can still go to guns, select guns. Got the Launch GSH. Authorized. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> That's some dead BTRs. Dead BTRs. Right lead, uh, can you please head out on the reciprocal radial and I'll meet you out there for a formation uh, meet up and landing. Look at that, we're going to land oh, already the flames there. and fire. Coming. Art now. Yes, I see you coming. Um, we got air brakes. Uh, meeting up now, kind of. Uh, say speed. Launch authorized. 320. Roger. Just gonna. Uh, I'll just hold this orbit. Yep. Do one of my classic high yo yos. What should we drop on his wing, Valley Dewars? Either drop on his wing or smash into him or crash into the sea. Ideally, drop onto his wing. Note, we've got an air-to-air -air refueling uh, probe uh, pipe, you know what I'm saying, right there. Can't use it at the moment. The comm system isn't working yet on the J-10. We are working with Mr. Snowy Wolf to get that fixed, and we will report when we do that. Of course, look at those ventral, those ventral fins. They look so cool. Ventral, not ventral, dorsal, dorsal fins. Very interesting. Nope, you hit it right, ventral fins. Ventrals go down. Ventrals good. Right, I'm with you, sir. Um, land All the airplane, right. I guess. I like it. You've retained your uh, S25 firing pack pods. That looks so cool. All right, gear down. Gear down. I don't know if this thing's got flaps or not. So I guess we're going to find the hard way. Uh, when you do actuate the flaps, the leading edge flaps go down, not Ooh. the trailing edge. Right. Well, I'm ready when you are, I guess. All right. Throttle back to idle. And I'll give her a little bit extra so that you have room to slow down. Yeah, I'm all good. We're all good, baby. Damn, it's a pretty plane. And idle. Ping! Bit of a heavy touchdown, but she'll be okay. It does have a drag shoot. Oh, you, uh, me first. Three, two, one, me. And you. I guess not. Nope, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> right, that was extremely good fun. I really like the plane. Yes, it's just a fun little mod, but if you want a bit of fun, very good. Anything to add, Mr. Simba? 
Snowy Wolf's been hard at work at getting this thing back revived and he is working on those other mods. Watch out, I hope you enjoyed them and we'll see you later.